Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a short vlog of our trip to Birmingham Sea Life Aquarium. I thought it would be a nice idea to take Diddy here as a bit of a sensory day. Uh, he loves lots of lights and things like that so I just thought this would be the perfect day out for us. We ended up using my O2 priority tickets. I got half price off um, during August. Lovely idea, but at the same time, it wasn't my best as we just completely forgot that it was obviously the summer holidays. So it was more than a bit cramped, but if we just were happy to wait a little while and let the crowds thin out, then we basically had the whole tanks to ourselves. So that was pretty handy. It was so lovely to watch Matthew and Dids together as they don't really get to spend too much time together and I'm pretty sure that Matt had um, a lot of fun as well. <laughs> he came out saying, oh, I didn't realise that, I didn't know this about this fish, so I think he had quite a bit of fun as well. It was so lovely to watch Diddy taking it all in and he did end up banging his head once or twice against the glass and he got a bit too close, but uh, it <laughs> didn't do him much harm. But he just loved pointing and getting up close, as you can see. It was so lovely to capture on film. For this trip, I'm so happy that I ended up bringing um, our little fold-up pram, the GB Pocket pram, as this was just such a lifesaver. As it was so crammed, Matthew just ended up carrying Dids and I carried the pram because it just folds down into this compact little square. So top mum points, it was just it just came in so handy. And um, for things like this, at this age of baby I would definitely recommend bringing a sling or like a baby carrier and um, next time I think that's definitely what we'll do. This place is such a good idea for all age ranges, but especially if you have older children. So many things were like interactive and the people who were, they were just so informative and so helpful. Um, they were so lovely and they answered all your questions and they had uh, lots of little um, like games to play with the children just to help them learn and tell them some interesting facts. So if you have older children, I would highly recommend this place. It was so lovely just watching his face light up. He would get so excited whenever something came towards him.
not quite sure what is going on with that fish either. This part of the aquarium was really interesting as it was feeding time and all the fish in this tank can be found in the UK and around the coast. This is one of my favourite rooms. I love watching the octopus. They absolutely fascinate me. We then headed over to another part of the aquarium which was the Amazon and you could see all the different types of fish that live in the Amazon. Next up was the seals. Didier was absolutely entranced with them swimming in the water. Unfortunately, I have missed out on that footage, but he loved them. He was absolutely glued to the window watching them. So, so cute. Now we move on to my favourite part of the whole aquarium. I absolutely loved watching the jellyfish and I thought this would be a fantastic bit of sensory play for Didier but unfortunately he was feed feeling a little bit tired and hungry as it was getting nearer feeding time. He did prefer some of the smaller jellyfish around the corner that were changing colour. The lady told us that the turtle was taken from a beach by a woman and she put three eggs in her pocket 
she got stopped at the airport into the UK and but only one egg survived so that turtle has been here in the aquarium for 10 years now Thankfully, he did perk up in the tunnel when all the sea life was swimming over his head. I absolutely love watching these clips back and looking at his face. He just seems so in awe. Even though he's getting tired, it was definitely worth it to stay for this tunnel. We then made a quick stop to the gift shop and ended up buying Didier a little jellyfish. I don't think he quite knows what to make of it, there's lots of string. <laughs> we also then walked over to the food court just outside and made our way to Pizza Express for some lunch using our, once again, our O2 priority tickets from my phone. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video it would mean the world to me if you could like this video and subscribe to help me get found and to support my channel i hope you all have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next one bye